welcome back to Good Things Utah. Joining us now on the show is Dr. Moores from 22 Plastic Surgery in this sponsored interview. And last time he was on the show, we discussed tummy tucks, but we also understand that breast surgery, a large part of what you do there at 22 Plastic Surgery. So let's jump into how aging and pregnancy make everything shift when it comes to your breasts and what can be done about it. Yeah, so uh, how does aging and pregnancy affect the breast? Well, I mean, we all know that aging especially causes a descent of the breast tissue, which can have a look that's not as aesthetic as we might like. Pregnancy, though, really compounds this because when you're pregnant, we all know the breast swells, but that's gonna stretch the skin even more. Then when you are breastfeeding, there's actually involution or loss of the breast tissue. So that after breastfeeding, the breast will be smaller and the skin envelope will be stretched out. A third thing that's not often talked about, but really affects our patients, and I find it makes our patients pretty unhappy, is that the areola, so the tissue that surrounds the nipple after pregnancy can be two, three, four times the size that it was before pregnancy. So what we can do about this is basically a lift, which is known as a mastopexy. And this is a surgery where we rejuvenate the breast overall. We lift the nipple to a more youthful position on the breast, and we contour the lower portion of the breast to make it look perhaps like you're a bit younger or like some of those changes never happened. Lots of people will also want increased volume. Now, if you don't want a lot of volume, we can accomplish that with a little bit of fat grafting for the upper pole, but really most people want more volume than that, and that's totally fine, and we do that with breast implants. Breast implants are gonna give you more projection, but really what women are wanting is upper pole fullness, and what is that? So upper pole fullness is when the tissue from the level of the nipple above has fullness, but really has sort of a convex appearance to it as opposed to a concave appearance. And that's what we lose with aging yeah. and babies is sure. that upper upper area. If you have had implants, when do you know it's time to get them redone? So we used to say that you had to have them changed every 10 years, that was a popular line, but now with the newer generation implants, we're more along the line saying if it's not broke, don't fix it. Now that comes with the caveat that 30 years is quite a long time to have an implant, but you know, now we're more waiting for things to go wrong before we start going in there and doing surgery when it doesn't need to be done. Can I ask you this too, how invasive is breast augmentation and a breast lift? Um, breast augmentation, breast lifts, the augmentation is relatively invasive, but they're really well tolerated. The procedures are same day surgeries. You can go home right after the surgery. So um, the body tolerates that type of intervention very well. Okay, let me ask you this. What sets you apart when it comes to breast surgeries? So I think the really big thing that we're doing is that when you come for breast augmentation, we want it to be more about a look and less about a number. You know, everybody comes to our clinic and they say, oh, my friend had 300 or 400 cc implants and I want the same thing. But that doesn't admit of the fact that, you know, you might be five foot two and your friend might be six foot two and your body shapes are being very different. So we want to have implants that fit your body and look proportionate, which is something that patients ask for all the time. The way we do that is we actually use implant sizers in the OR. So we try on the different implants while you're on the OR table and you would be amazed how different Small changes in implant projection and width can really change the look. We compare that to wish pictures, which you've uploaded to our medical record, and we can really tailor the size, width, and projection of the implant to get you the look that you want so that nobody wakes up being way bigger than they want it to be or way smaller than they want it to be. It, it really works well. Well, and I'm sure that you hear a lot of, I want to look natural. Yes. Versus unnatural. And how do you achieve that? Well, you know, First of all, it's okay to want to look unnatural, and that is something that people want. As long as we have a conversation up front that's very open, honest, and forthright about what your goals are, and we achieve that with wish pictures so that we know what you want to look like, we can get you there. You know, we can do a breast augmentation where nobody would ever know that you had anything done. We can also do breast augmentations that sometimes people want where people will know you had something done. Right, depends on the individual. Yes, ultimately it's about the patient and not about the doctor. We want to realize your vision. Well, this is about you. I remember after babies, I didn't recognize me. Yeah. And that's what you're going in and having that consultation and talking about everybody. 22 Plastic Surgery, located in Cottonwood Heights. The address and the phone number right there on your screen. Also, go check out the Instagram and the website, 22plasticsurgery.com. Right now, $250 off surgery. If you mention that you saw this on Good Things Utah, go in and have a consultation. And our thanks to 22 Plastic Surgery for this sponsored interview.